Morning friends. So I uh, forgot to post the video from YouTube across to Facebook yesterday. But, um, sure, I've had a rough week. Now, I took uh, <clears throat> Uncle Henny to Government Hospital. That is, oh, you can see the toll that it's taken on me. I'm so flippin' finished. It is very draining. Um, Monday, I went to obviously the Grays Hospital. They turned us down. Said that they don't take any walk-ins. Uh, told us to go to Northdale. Went to Northdale. Spent the day waiting at Northdale. Then they told us, no, we have to go see a doctor first. She doesn't look sick enough to go into the emergency room. Uh, so anyway, I got freaked out a bit. Got kicked out of the hospital. Um, and then yesterday, sorry, yesterday, the day before yesterday, we started at uh, Grays on Tuesday. So Tuesday morning, I uh, spent the whole day at Grays, going through everything. Um, old man's dying of pain. He's not feeling well at all. Anyway, finally got him at 4 o'clock to, to see a doctor. Doctor said, no, he thinks there's something seriously wrong with him. And they put him into the emergency room. Um, it's raining a bit here. Well, it's in the emergency room, they realized that uh, the old man's in full renal failure and he's got a serious problem with his prostate. So uh, the man's dying and the hospital is just turning him away because um, he doesn't look sick enough. How sick is that? These are learned friends, but anyway. Um, I understand they got, they got to play the numbers game, but yeah, the, the hospitals in Marisburg. I must say, uh, okay, Gray's obviously, um, I've lost all respect for Gray's because of that one doctor and his, uh, you know, turning down a person that was in re full renal failure. That's bad. That's really bad. And that's a bad reflection of the hospital. Um, same story with uh, North, but North is a whole different cup of tea. They, they're a dirty hospital. There's blood all over the walls and the floors and it's a, it's a dirty place. And then they also um, said, no, they're not going to, see him even though he's was that sick they didn't think he was that sick but yeah so i don't ever go to north hill uh, stay away from gray's is a is a tertiary hospital so it's like a training center almost. so if you get sent there i think you'll be okay but north hill yeesh, what a death wish uh gray uh um edendale hospital now there's a whole different cup of tea there's it's amazing i mean they got i counted like 12 13 doctors all in all that are running there and there's probably 500 people coming through the door every day maybe more i don't know because we sat in the queue in the morning there was um the room was full so i counted about 120 people in the room and we were out of the back obviously <laughs> got through all of that and then when we were through that we were the second batch that i had while well, we were outside there was a batch before us and we got there at about 10, and apparently they opened at like 7. So there must have been two or three batches before us. There was definitely one before me. And when we went out, there was another batch filling up. Uh, the, the administration block fills up. They get, you get your file there, and then you take the file from there, you go into the hospital, and you wait in the next queue. And that's the queue that you wait very long in. So the file thing takes about, about an hour. But then waiting for the doctor, you wait. Then we waited till four, four o'clock. We saw a doctor then at like, at uh, four past four. Went to the emergency room and then, yeah, you know, emergency room. That happened. Uh, the wheel turns slow, but it, once you're there, it, it, it does happen. So um, then Henny spent about, I don't know, about twenty odd hours in the emergency, yeah. um, trying to get his his kidneys to start working again and put a catheter in and he pulled the catheter out and oh, it was a big mess. And one thing I have noticed, they they don't seem to manage the pain very well. So they sort of, by the time they getting a grip of it, the client, the, the patients are really going into chronic pain. And uh, yeah, then uh, Nita just once told me that once you get into chronic pain, that's it. You're going to battle to get out of it, and you're going to be sort of sensitive to all sorts of pains thereafter. So, yeah. But other than that, hospitals, they're doing their best uh, with the skills and the resources that they've got. The, um, the other thing that I noticed is, is once you get out of the emergency room and you go into the wards, like last night, they, they moved Henny across the wards, and I went to go see him. I'd finished 
uh, whatever I had to do, I had to shoot home and get a few things done. Shot back out there to see him, and uh, I got there after six, and they won't let you in there. Between you're only allowed there between uh, twelve and one, and uh, five and six. So I got there just after six, and then yeah, you got to go and fill in a whole lot of forms and get the authorization, and so they're a lot stricter than what a normal um, a private hospital is. Um, but strangely enough, in the emergency room, they very relaxed. People come and go, walk in, walk out. Nobody really monitors. There's so much chaos going on there. So it's like strange. They got you know, heavy militants on the one side, and then flipping blase on the other. And the, the one place side that they should be militant on, <laughs> it's like the roles are reversed. So anyway, it was weird. And that place is huge. It's really big. Uh, there's wing after wing after wing and there's just people sitting in beds and every single one and yeah, the, I really take my hat off to the nurses and doctors that work there that's that's a tough place to work and some of the sites that I saw over the last few days oh man I'm glad I'm glad I'm out of all of that there's a it's a lot of nasty stuff and blood and guts and gore and broken things and pain and screaming and kids being sick and old people you can see they're really in pain and one thing that I noticed with the old people is they tough. They're a lot tougher than us. They can handle so much more pain. I mean, they've had a lifetime of building up a pain threshold. So by the time they start moaning and saying that they're not feeling like a, it's usually too late already. So you have to watch them. If they start saying that they're sore or something, and you know, a lot of, a lot of them are often very sore. But if it's anything out of the ordinary, get them to the doctor quickly because they, you know, they wait too long because they're, they're tough. They've had to endure a lot in their lives. And yeah, they, they think they can just get through it you know, every single time. And many times they can, but yeah, every now and then they don't. So anyway, uh, that was my ordeal over this week. Um, we are sitting with like miserable weather. It's wind and rain. I'm hiding under the tree at the moment. And uh, yeah, we're working outside, so yeah can't really do any work the days that that are, that are I'm available to work now I can't work so that's a it's been a, it's going to be a tough week anyway folks have a good one uh, hoping tomorrow I'll be able to post something a little bit more uh, substantial and something with a bit more sort of uh, meaning at the moment I'm just recovering from a week of hell so, oh, government hospitals, oh man, or oh, government anything for that matter, Oof, they take it out of you, eh? they really are, they are the pits, they run so badly and they're so poor and they just make everyone, you got to just have exercise patience. Eh? Anyway, cheers folks, have a lacquer day, hope Thursday turns into a brilliant day, take care.